Hi guys, my name is Victor Latordo and I am a victim of USAA fraud. Uh, basically what happened is I was at a red light and one of their insured uh, thought the you know light was green and then he looked down at his phone. He was, you know, uh, staring down at his crotch and, uh, you know, he smashed it into me, basically, long story short. And, uh, you know, I've had, uh, you know, whiplash injury, uh, my neck's hurt and I got headaches. Um, my right hip was hurting for a while. Um, still have headaches. Still, my back, neck still hurt. Um, six months later, after he hit me, um, another lady hit me, um, and uh, you know she took her car in and put it in reverse and backed up about five car lengths because she overshot the white line at a red light. I knew she wasn't gonna be able to go through the green light because it's never gonna turn green unless she backs up because it's not gonna register her car. And so when she backed up to, you know, because it wasn't gonna register, uh, it wasn't gonna turn green. She stayed there. We stayed there for a while, like over, t you know, a minute and a half, two minutes. She's like, okay, not gonna turn green. And then so she backs into me, smashes into me, uh, you know, uh, uh, basically totals my car. USAA wants to total my car. They're like, oh, we'll give you 12, 1300 bucks for it. And I'm like, no, no, no. Look, here's all the receipts. I just put $6,000 into this car last year. You're fucking dreaming out of your mind. And they're like, oh, okay. Well, um, and then they, they, you know, paid for it. They're just complete pieces of shit, like dealing with, you know, them to try to get my car fixed. I was like, Tch. and then, um, basically, uh, what happened was, um, uh, uh, after, uh, that second person hit me, I called him up on the phone. I'm like, Hey, you know, why don't you just, uh, settle out of court with me right now for $22,000 that'll pay $12,000 from the medical expenses I recurred from the last accident and give me another $10,000 for all, you know, injuries, uh, pain and suffering and all the future medical costs I could ever recur from this, you know, 10 grand, five grand each accident. That seems fair. And they're like, um, no, uh, we can't do that. And then, um, basically they said no. Uh, uh, and I was like, well, how come all the lawyers and doctors and everyone else is get to get rich? Cause the chiropractor is going to charge uh, me $35 a visit and he's going to charge you guys like a hundred or 185 or 150 a visit. And, and then, you know, I owe him 20 grand and, uh, uh, and they were like, oh, well, that's the way it works. Go get a lawyer. And basically hung up the phone on me and, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's just, uh, what did I do? I went and got a lawyer and, uh, uh with these crooks, um, uh, offered me $1,400. They sent me something in the mail and they're like, oh, we'll give you $1,400 to settle. Uh, you know, you got $12,000 worth of bills. You know, we'll give you 1400 bucks to call it even. And I'm like, seriously guys. So then I went and it must've been like another, it would cost like $20,000 for the next accident or whatever of bills. I don't remember because, uh, my hip like basically froze up. Um, I, I couldn't walk. I was having really bad issues. Uh, you know, there's pressure being put on my, uh, uh, my bulging disc that was on my back from a couple guys before that was you know had hit me my back uh my disc like has a little bulge i have degenerative disc disease so my back's always you know sore and my wife's a massage therapist i put her through massage school so you know i i told them on the phone i was like well you know why can't i just pay my wife a few bucks you know a massage uh chiropractor is like 35 dollars a visit you know it's practically free for this medical care you know i i can just handle it myself you know uh, like a contractor would and they're like oh no no and then so i go through all this shit and i have thirty thousand dollars worth of medical bills i get the lawyer and then uh i go in there and uh, I made fun of for being a 9-11 truther. The guy's got a smirk on his face. The other guy who, uh, you know, insurance adjuster from both parties, the other guy, you know, he kind of was like looking at me like I'm some fraud guy and, or something. Um, and uh, I'm like, dude, fuck you, man. I get headaches. I'm like, told the truth to all these guys. Like, you can kiss my ass. That's, I'm actually holy water in my pocket just to tell the truth. It's like, that's all I ever do is tell the truth. Fuck you. You know, and uh, basically... Um, uh, 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 they, you know, they, uh, basically offered me, um, for the first accident, $5,000, uh, which, uh, uh, I have to split with the lawyer. So that'll leave me $3,300 left to pay my bills, which it would be, uh, equivalent to, uh, I have $12,000 worth of bills. So I'd be 9,000 in the hole from that accident. And then the other accident, um, they offered me $20,000 for, uh, uh, the Berdine accident, which was my hip back and neck. Um, and, and then my hips actually a little bit better now, quite a bit better. You know, I still have suction cups. I have to like suck on it at night when I sleep in bed to pull blood in there. Cause it's kind of, you know, sore, it gets aches and I can't sleep. I toss and turn all the time. And, uh, uh, so the suction cups were great. And, uh, uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, I got headaches all the time from the first accident. Um, wouldn't trade that for a hundred thousand dollars. And that's all we were asking for, uh, you know, uh, my, uh, insurance claim and, and the people, uh, basically, uh, uh, were such pricks. Uh, and, uh, I just decided to, uh, you know, cause I used to be a hacker, quantum hacker, uh, developed so much software. Uh, I know where to look and what to, you know, search for. I was doing some research anyway on 9-11 and, 
and everything else, um, the Mandela effect, uh, quantum, you know, computing, um, and uh, basically, I uh, I found uh, Facebook, all their threads, USAA. If you put it in the search engine, uh, you'll find out that they have dozens, if not hundreds, or thousands of people they are defrauding. And if you uh, uh, they you know check it out, they uh, just fired their or let go or he quit because you know resigned maybe because he knew something internally was going on or he was the problem and they fired him. It's either one, you know, one of these things. Um, uh, uh, there's just so much fraud in the system. What were they doing with everyone's money? They charge money for insurance and then people smash into me and they offer me $1,400 when two people smash into me and give me all these medical bills. It's just, uh, you know, beyond me when I just try to get something fair and it's not happening. They give me $25,000 to split with my lawyer that uh, he gets a third. So, you know, I, I end up walking away with about like 13, 14 grand that I have to pay $30,000 for the medical bills with. So I'm about fifteen, sixteen thousand $16,000 in the hole, you know, whatever. Uh, uh, and uh, this is this is what USAA does to their service members who represent the military. And so, you know, when I was engineering software, uh, when I went through and engineered Windows uh, 98, 95 service pack to 98 and 98 second edition from 98 uh, and rolled my own scroll, you know, the hard drive makes this really nice sound. And then when it comes back to the screen, like updates everything, USB 1.1 comes. Then I built, you know, the USB 2.0 drivers, uh, Windows XP, you know, 7.1, uh, uh, 2001 was the date that, you know, all that stuff happened. And uh, basically, uh, uh, all the computer systems, you know, Microsoft Money 99, all these uh, computers and updates, uh, I hadn't actually engineered until the year 2004. And uh, basically, uh, you know, the link uh, to CERN is the internet. You just go down to uh, the time, the clock on uh, your computer, you d open it up, and then there's a NIST clock sync, uh, National Institute of Science and Standard Technology. And basically, uh, you know, if you have the right codes, you can get into the clock. There was a bug, I had to fix the clock, uh, you know, in the different operating systems, 95, 98, uh, 2000, you know, Millennium, uh, XP, like there's a few issues in the clock that needed to be fixed. Um, but anyways, that's beyond the point. You know, there's all these languages, font libraries, encryption keys for Yahoo servers. Uh, basically, you, you can hack Yahoo servers, get into any email address any year you wanted to, just start making email addresses in any year I wanted to, you know, dropping data down through the lines uh, like that. And so basically, you know, when 9-11 rolled out, they threw me in the hospital, locked me up for being a truther and trying to expose everyone. And, uh, you know, I, they gave me my social security and I decided to get out and break into everyone's computer and start developing more. And then um, Secret Service came over to my house and they're basically a witness. Agent Berg can suck my ass uh, and Agent Scully, who was with him or whatever her name is, the redhead lady. Uh, uh, basically, they're a witness to all these crimes. Uh, uh, they got an email address that, you know, or an email that basically makes a, a, a Hillary look really bad. Uh, I guess I don't even want to, you know, talk about it too much, but uh, probably pretty classified. But uh, uh, um, basically, uh, if you go on YouTube and uh, type USA fraud, you'll see all these frauds, you know, face uh, Google fraud, uh, USA fraud, you'll see the fraud and then go on uh, YouTube and type in uh, Bush slips up, and then he'll, he'll admit that uh, explosives were used in the World Trade Center. Uh, uh, and then the Berenstein Bear, Berenstein Bear, Mandela Effect, you know, the Bears books changed uh, just online, check the archive right before 9-11. And so Bush slips up, and then uh, you got to uh, do the, uh, 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 what is it, uh, Larry Pullet, Larry Silverstein Pullet. And then watch the video, it's like a minute long. Uh, he says, you know, that's when we decided to pull. Uh, the fires were so bad, you know, we couldn't contain these uh, couple stories of you know, tiny little fires, they couldn't contain it. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, that's when he decided to pull. And then, you know, the firemen, uh, whatever, Ray Mayor Giuliani said, you know, he knew whatever. And uh, uh, basically, uh, you know, so uh, pull it. So George Bush slips up, you know, admits uh, explosives are in the World Trade Center. Uh, 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 Larry Silverstein says, pull it, and admits that, you know, is it, you know, basically a controlled demolition. That's when they decided to pull, and that's when the building came down. And then uh, type in uh, 911, uh, man uh, blown from window. And then you'll see uh, basically when a guy gets launched, like from a bomb exploding, he's just blown out the window. He just flies like a rocket propelled grenade, just boom, right out the window. And then type in, uh, in the in the in the YouTube search, type in Kerry slips up, and then uh, you'll see uh, John Kerry, or not 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 Kerry slips up, but Kerry uh, admits you know uh, World Trade Center. I usually just type in a nine one one Kerry, and it'll come up. Uh, you know Kerry admitting uh, World Trade Center was a controlled demolition, and uh, then uh, uh, you know uh, type in uh, 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 Larry Silverstein admits. Uh, uh, 
World Trade Center was designed in uh, two, two, year 2000. I usually just type in uh, uh, Larry New WTC, and then it pops up like 10th video down or whatever. Uh, and uh, basically he admits that, you know, he designed the building in uh, the year 2000, basically when I was developing, uh, uh, you know, all the software. And uh, basically the whole system's fraud. I uh, developed Windows CE and air clocks and air timers for cell phones. You know, Stratasac, uh, the hack, uh, George, uh, you know, the, the Clintons, when all this started uh, with Jeb, uh, you know, the, the it's basically, uh, uh, you know, these government agencies got, got all this cell phone technology back in the day. And, uh, you know, for internet technology, the, the faster updates for the faster net and the faster stuff for the faster phones and the higher updates. It's just how architecture works. 3G, 4G. 4G was actually written first, then I finished 3G. But, you know, I got all these languages still. SMS, it's just, you know, these are all computer languages that I engineered. You know, Wing Dings 2, 3, Web Dings 2, 3. All, all this stuff were update, you know, developers updates, packs, uh, you know. Uh, uh, and uh, so basically, you know, going through all these updates, you know, tunes.org, just, you know, going through read and write in half the history and or write in half the history and kind of change what, what, what I could. But, you know, there was like, a, you know, certain issues that happened where, uh, uh, you know, George Bush wouldn't, you know, help me fix it. He said he had everything under control. Him, uh, Petraeus, Rumsfeld, they all sent me an email saying, you know, everything's under control. And, you know, going through all the data, it's like, shit, Senator, you know, Hillary Clinton, you know, FBI, Mueller started on 9401, McCabe, 9-11, 2003. You know, these guys are all fraud. Homeland Security, you know, you know, Michael Chertoff, I mean, just as just, just the list goes on and on and on, you know, we got Harp, we got, you know, the storm of Hurricane Katrina, we got all these hurricanes coming around now, you know, I seen two different versions of reality when my Baron seen bears and all this stuff, you know, there was, there's a way, there's a way to, uh, you know, basically, uh, uh, synchronize the clocks, synchronize the realities. So there wasn't, you know, so much of a data switch, so much of a crunch where, where there wasn't so much damn residue of all these realities that the fake news media had everyone running on because they're all clocks and cell phones and i had to just make bugs and worms and, and hack and, and just to even get you guys the goddamn programs early because you know nt 4.0 nt 4.1 uh, uh from microsoft you know these were all updates with you know uh, networking technologies that i was engineering remotely from a server and from a different year and giving it to y'all guys through a yahoo hack down the pipe you know through a, a drop through basically you know internet technology clocks uh cern particle physics photons ions eons it's all time it's all space it's all you know laser chips and beams and bios and crystals and languages and just you know me having fun on the computer hacking doing it way better way faster than anyone else and uh people would get jealous so you know i could whatever ai it's just fast coding you make the damn computer do it itself because you don't even have time because you're you know dealing with all this other garbage so you know i made all these rap music all these albums you know my, all my friends you know half a lot of them work for microsoft they work for you know uh you know starbucks they're like you know nt analysis that are managers i mean they do all sorts of stuff so a lot of they're on the raps you know bronx i mean he works for microsoft you know, I live right down the street from Microsoft. I even hacked them a few times just by running down there and fucking pressing the doorbell on their stupid door. You know, it's uh, it's just, you know, you're running around through reality. It's the matrix. It's code. You know, you got a clock. You start changing the clock and going and run, you know, running around in, in reality. It's just... You know, it starts. It starts to you know, uh, uh, kind of like uh, uh, you know, Intel chipsets in back doors, and basically, you know, yeah, sure, the Matrix is a, you know, we are living in a simulated, you know, hologram. That what is space? You know, it all is like a video game. You know, push your eyes in, and you'll see pixels. If you push them and press hard enough, everything will go pixelated. You know, everything is a pixel. It's and, and if you, you you take a you know a scanner and you scan it, and you can actually see you know the nuclear little codes of what it would mean if you know if it was just space and light and darkness it, you know there's ghosts right we have ghost particles we have there's ghosts in the in you know in, in the world there's stuff that's still unexplainable that physics hasn't really you know uh, actually been able to put their finger and say oh this is you know exactly how ions and eons and all this stuff works and you know and that's why i seen a ghost last week and i mean it's just you know people just don't understand uh uh you know 
a, a lot about, uh, you know, uh, the frauds and, and all the, uh, you know, effects of, of just all the bullshit, you know, go walk around in the stores, go to the grocery store, show a, uh, ask how many people they remember in JFK's car when he got shot, right? I even went down to the military office and asked them, they don't, you know, the Chinese guy didn't know the the American guy said four people in JFK's car when he got shot, you know? Um, and, uh, uh, so it's, it's just, you know, reality, there's a bunch of sheep everywhere. Everyone's blind. They don't even know. They haven't even realized, you know, what's going on here. Uh, they, they haven't even woke up, you know, they're just running around doing their thing, paying taxes and, uh, you know, letting, you know, uh, the, the federal government basically do their thing. And, and those guys are so corrupt ever since nine 11, they've had no oversight. The only oversight committee we get is Trey Gowdy, bless his heart, hats off to him. And J Jason Chaffetz. It's like, you know, we just, and he had to quit. He probably, cause what, you know, I don't even want to go into why, but Hillary's just, you know, uh, I mean, just at a loss for words, uh, you know, NASA, uh, uh, all the software, all the clocks, all the technology, you know, New York Times, they were all in on it. I mean, conspiracy up to the yin yang, you know, uh, where's all my metadata Snowden split and was just like, ha ha. And it's, you know, so, you know, it's, 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 a. Uh, it's a, a really good day for me because I get to put this video out on YouTube and uh, uh, hopefully you guys all see it uh, because, you know, engineering Windows was fun for me. And uh, uh, basically what wasn't fun is the fake news media trying to cover up all the uh, where all the money went and where all the data went of 9-11 and uh, why the towers came down. Um, and uh, basically all the conspiracy behind, uh, uh, you know, everything, uh, you know, so funny, uh, you know, the election fraud, uh, 2000, uh, James A. Baker and Comey reassigning Baker. They were chums in freaking law school right after law school in, in, in the bushes, in, you know, and, uh, you know, the the, uh, the Clintons, uh, Enron, um, you know, it, it, Wikipedia, Wikipedia, James A. Baker, like he's part of Enron. And these guys are, you know, insider traders, they're fraud, you know, like, you know, the, the, the Enron people were all in the government, too. It was you know there it's just clinton clinton these these corruption scandals and 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 the pay to play system uh, uh you know for technology uh and uh you know airtime cell phone air you know travel uh uh, uh, through, you know, wireless wires, it's, you know, uh, you know, crystals and chips and cords and clocks, you know, these people defrauded me, you know, for some of my, uh, uh, you know, design, um, through, uh, you know, airtime for, you know, making Verizon and clocks, you know, just making airtime for Verizon or, or eight, you know, AT&T, whatever they're, you know, they're, they're selling airtime on my clock, you know, that started, I started it in 19, 93 was the clock, you know, 95 was a new one. And then it had to go like, you know, every few years, these clocks had to be, they started and stopped. And basically when these clocks would, you know, go from year to year, you could sell the, the government could sell the airtime. Um, and, uh, I could spy on all of them as I was making these airtime servers cause they were just internet. And I could see the first day and the last day of the clock on every single day of that you know, thing. And I, and then, uh, you know, when I got to this one clock, you know, uh, on, you know, nine eleven, nine ten, when, when they fudged the security keys and fucked it up, it like rewrote a bunch of the past that I had to like basically kind of merge together. So, and make the computer fix it because they really fucked it up. Um, it was, it was like a, a real bad data crunch. Um, uh, there's a couple, you know, realities that it, that it started. And then all of a sudden, you know, LA times had three different versions of the front page on the newspaper in 1993. And I'm like, fuck, uh, well, it was 95, uh, one or the other, but it was, it was just, you know, it was really, it was, you know, it was really just, you know, something that, uh, took me a long time to fix that. Um, and I was able to almost fix 9-11, but, but I didn't have enough money. I didn't have enough resources. I didn't have time. No one would help me. You know, the police station said, what do you want us to do about it? You know, hacking the, you know, library, hacking the work source center, you know, the fortress from the, you know, down at work source. I mean, you know, hacking their PCs was fun, uh, you know, and the library and the clocks are all connected from the library to the police station. I mean, these networks are, you know, 911. I mean, but you know, they had no security on NT 4.0. I built the NT 4.1 service pack patch for them because they had no security. The clock was just like dead. It was dry, had no security. These guys like had no security. You could just go into a library. There was no, there was no security for like any of the programs, you know, you could just go in and basically, 
you know, if you had the right languages like me and the right, you know, pictures so that I could store languages in and, 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 you know, basically I could open an email account, open a picture, basically uncompress all these, you know, symbols and fonts and data. And then all of a sudden have my hacking tools right on any computer and be able to program and, uh, you know, help, uh, government agencies and on government networks. And, uh, basically, you know, they, uh, I could spy on them, but they, uh, stole, they stole, you know, some security keys and tried to, you know, not give me my money for one of my clocks and uh, a bunch of bad shit went down. And, uh, you know, basically, uh, uh, you know, I've lived my whole life, uh, you know, as part of, uh, you know, a secret organization of computer hackers. And, and, you know, if you could ever follow the email trail, you would just be shocked, shit, just shitless, stunned. And, uh, you know, so I just try to live my day, uh, live my life just the best I can and try not to let, you know, crooked corruption and stuff uh, bother me too bad. But, you know, when my bacon gets burnt too bad, just I just have to put my foot down and just say, look, enough's enough. I can't let people kill me. I can't let people bend me over and fuck me and leave me $16,000 in the hole like USA is trying to do. Uh, you know, they're just fraud. I just you know, I'm just like at a loss for words, you know, antitrust. I mean, you know, I went to the uh, Federal Bureau, the, the Better Business Bureau, and I, you know, I posted pictures of all the conspiracy shit. And they were like, oh, stop posting that. Stop, you know, please stop doing that. And they're like, oh, well, we can't help you, you know, because you're not this. And then I said, oh, well, uh, here's a picture of this. And you guys are this because you, this is a service. And then they, you know, stop responding. They won't like you know, respond. And so, you know, when I went to the Better Business Bureau, it sent me to the Justice Department. So today I filled out something to the Justice Department. I was like, look at you crooks, you scandals, criminals. Just, I'm just at a loss for words. Yeah, go Trump, man. Fake news media, deep state. You guys are fucked. Eat a big fucking dick. FBI, Mueller, 9-4-2001, McCabe, 9-11-2003, Microsoft, fucking 1995 to 98 update. All the employees fucking from Microsoft get to go to DC while I fucking sit up home and make all their goddamn fucking coding, you know, y'all can fucking eat a dick.